Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at drawing borders on cells in Microsoft Excel. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to the Home tab on the ribbon and I suggest that you add some border options to your Quick Access Toolbar. So I'm going to click the Border option down here and I'm going to right click on Draw Border and choose Add to Quick Access Toolbar and I'm going to do the same for Draw Border Grid and I'm going to skip Eraser I will add line color because I do want to be able to change the line color and I'd also like to be changing the line style so I'm going to right click it and add it to the quick access toolbar. Now the way that these options work is that this is going to allow you to draw an outside border so I'm just going to click on it and now I can just drag over the area that I want my border on. Now this could be a large range of cells but it could also be just a small number of cells. If I drag over one cell, then I'm going to get a line over just one cell. So it's hold, draw, and when you let go, that's the border you're going to get it around. But if you just want a line, then you can just click on the line that you want to add the border to. So in that sense, it works a little bit like the draw border grid. So with draw border grid, when I click on it, let's just change the line style here. When I drag over an area, I get a grid over that area. So this is a series of lines and of course it's going to be the color of the line color and this style of the line style. Again, I can just use this to draw individual lines if I want to or I can draw it over a small area or a large area. It's just a really easy way of applying formats to cells. Now I mentioned to you that I'd leave eraser off. The reason for that is that the eraser can be obtained by just holding down the shift key and whatever you were doing, for example drawing border grid, then you can just drag over that area to erase the border grid. So you just want to make a choice as to whether you're trying to erase a border grid or the outside border. So what I'm going to do here is hold down the shift key and remove the outside border as well. Now you could also have removed individual lines by just holding down the shift key and just click on the line that you want to remove. So this is probably the easiest way of cleaning up a file that you've obtained from somebody. If it's got a whole lot of formatting in it and you want to get rid of the outside borders or the inside borders or whatever from that particular worksheet, just having these tools available and knowing that you can remove everything by just holding the shift key and whatever it was that you had put down will just be removed by dragging over it with the draw border grid tool but with the shift key enabled so that you're essentially erasing things. This is a very quick and easy way of sorting out formatting for a worksheet to be able to draw these borders on. It just removes any confusion that you get when you're actually using the borders dialog for example. So to quickly format some data like this, I'm going to click on Draw Border Grid. I'm going to select my line style and color and just drag over everything so I now have a grid. I'd like a heavier border around this, so I'm going to select my heavier border. I'm using Draw Border and I'm just going to drag over everything. If I want a slightly thicker line under these headings here, I'm just going to drag across to create that line. So you can see it's very simple and very quick to be able to apply your own formats to these documents. And of course, if I don't want what I've done, I'm just going to click on Draw Border Grid, hold the Shift key as I remove every single one of those lines from my worksheet. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time, then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.